بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله صلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم مسلمين كثيرا ثم بعد هاي ما يدير ستيت انت هاو يو وش ار اوكي هير وي ار ان لسن نمبر فور وي سكيب نمبر ثري ذس از لسن نمبر فور ان يونت ثري وي سكيب لسن نمبر ثري ذس از فور اور لسن تدي از اباوت افوكريشن فروم ا سوليوشن Evaporation from a solution. Okay, we have a small activity, guys. We'll start with it, inshallah. Uh, this is salt solution and this is heat. Okay, I need you to think about the difference between the salt solution with heat and the salt only. What is the difference between them? Which one is number one? Which one is number two? And what's happened between them? Uh, can you explain it for me? Okay. From our lesson today and also from the picture, we will understand that the water here is changed from liquid into gas. From liquid into gas. Okay. And change into water, uh, water vapor or steam. And we have here. Uh, the salt okay so how this happened we will understand that our objectives for our lesson today we need to know that evaporation occurs when a liquid turns into a gas and we understand we need to understand that when a liquid evaporates from a solution the solid is left behind good let's start first of all we need to know that most of the salts, most of the salts we put on our food comes from seawater. It means that the seawater contains salt. Okay? This seawater is made up of salt and water. Okay? Again, this seawater it's made up of salt and water connected together or dissolve it this salt dissolve it in the water we need to understand so this is the solvent and this is a solute solvent plus solute will give us solution if you need to understand more look at this slide today we we need to understand what we mean by solution so some materials can dissolve in water or other liquid as you can see in this picture guys this picture we have water and salt or sugar so solution solution always have two parts the solute and the solvent if we need to understand what is the difference between them so look at the picture this is the solute the material that is dissolved the material that we put it in the water in the liquid sugar uh, salt uh, juice powder juice anything so the solvent is the liquid in which the salt dissolves so the solvent is the liquid if we put the solute inside the solvent it will give us solutions great so we understand now that solution solution is made up of two things or have two parts so you would and solve it if we need to understand more I just need you to know that you cannot see the solute in a solution after it has dissolved it it means that if we put the sugar or the salt inside the water and we move it so after maybe one minute or less than one minute you can it you can see uh, you cannot see the uh, 
solute you will just see normal water why because the particles of the solute move in between the solvent particles when they dissolve this means that the parts of the salt will go inside the particles of the water will connect it together so you cannot see them uh, if you want to be sure uh, from that we have a small activity here we will get some salt and we'll put them here in this water so can you get the salt back this is a question for you can you get the salt back we put this salt inside this water okay you get it after that you can you cannot see the uh, salt okay i need you to get this salt back from this water can you use your knowledge of evaporation to get uh, salt uh, solid salt from a salt solution type make a salt solution from 5 millimeter of salt and 50 millimeter of water predict what will happen when you evaporate a salt solution give a reason for your prediction look at me or look at this picture guys if we put this salt inside this water we will have solution good job we will call it salt solution this is called solution if we need to get this salt back we will take this solution and put it on the fire we let this solution get energy or get heat what will happen we know that all liquids can evaporate can change from liquid to gas so if we put it on fire the water will get energy and it will change into steam and we will have the salt down someone will ask me mr sammy why the salt cannot evaporate huh do you think why this salt cannot evaporate um, even that we put the salt on fire it means that this salt get energy but why this salt cannot change into steam or change to liquid uh, do you know because this salt is solid not liquid and we said that the evaporation just happen only for for liquid do you understand it's very easy um, and thank you uh, very much my dear student i wish you uh, that you understand our lesson today and uh, stay home and stay safe please thank you so much uh, inshallah we will meet you in the next lesson bye